sorry, Jeff, but I like the Chargers and Bengals as an under 50 and a half. This is going to be a popular stack and run back in DFS chasing that big total. But the Bengals have the reputation as a shootout team with Burrow and those flashy wide receivers. The three games prior to their week 10 bye, they had uh, Burrow was averaging around 37 pass attempts per game. In the two games since the bye, Burrow is only averaging 26 pass attempts. The Bengals have become that cold weather run team behind Joe Mixon. Mark this game down as a 24-21 finish. I like the under. Yeah, this quarterback matchup, that sounds sexy, real sexy, right? But uh, yeah, it could be a grinder of a game, Jeff. What would you like to say to that? Well, I mean, I thought Alan and I were friends, but I guess not. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, that's that fair. Um, okay, so I, as far as unders go, I mean, I, I just, I can't get away from the under on the Tampa Bay Atlantic game. I, I get it. I mean, you know, you've got two teams that, that like to pass the ball and and you know it's it, Atlanta tends to get in these, some of these crazy games, but how are they going to score? I just I, I just do not see how Atlanta scores against this Tampa Bay defense. Such a good defensive line, uh, bringing good pressure. Matt Ryan and uh, and and the Falcons they had they, they scored 21 points against the uh, the Jaguars, but their their last two games hmm. they scored three points. It's 24 points over the last three games. Uh, I think Tampa Bay's defense just dominates this game from start to finish. And I think the Bucks, you know, they, they probably put up 30, but they, they get up so fast that it just, they run the clock out. So I think 50.5, just too big a total here. I like the under in that one. Yeah, no reason to really believe their offense will muster much of anything on Sunday. Let's go, uh, Pierce. Give me a game that uh, your confidence going to go under. I'm on the same game. I just don't see Atlanta doing anything. And I think Jeff probably could have emphasized 21 points versus the Jaguars. That's really not very not good. good. You should score a lot more points against, ja I'm sorry, Emerson, but 21 Ugh. points against Jacksonville. If you're a decent offense, you put more points on the board, but they don't have a decent offense. They don't have much of an offensive line. Uh, Pitts is their number one receiver to give you any idea of what they're dealing with. He's a good tight end. He will be good someday but he is not a good one, number one wide receiver. He's not a good number one wide receiver when he has to line up against cornerbacks. You can only, you know, push Cordero Patterson so far. You're going to run him in between the tackles against Tampa? Probably not going to work. They've had success with that against other teams. That's not going to work on Sunday against Tampa. I don't see them scoring points. And on the flip side, I also, and I've been saying this all season, Tampa needs to take it easy. You don't need 40 dropbacks from Tom Brady. You don't need Rob Gregkowski to run 40 routes. You don't need Chris Godwin to run 40 routes. Give the ball to Fournette like they did last week. Give the ball to Jones like they did last week and, and, and take the win.